Hey guys, good morning. I just got up and took my daughter to school. Uh, we This is my first day back at home in Atlanta, in Georgia, actually outskirts of Atlanta. Um, last night I did pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm almost, I feel like almost 100%. I'm still a little sore around my drain incision and the next to the largest one, uh, which is actually right next to the drain incision. Um, everything's been pretty good. Medicine's intake has been awesome. Fluid intake has been great. Um, yesterday on the flight home, <laughs> I might have not, shouldn't have done it, but I did because I was so hungry. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys ever flown Delta. They have like the little biscuit cookies. So I got some of those and I got some coffee and I dipped the cookies in the coffee and they just like melted in my mouth. And um, yeah, no problem. My stomach didn't hurt afterwards. It was perfect. I didn't feel nauseous. I didn't feel nauseated. Um, so I was hungry and that's what I ate and it was good. And then I got home and I had a little um, thing of Gerber food for babies. So, but yeah, it was, I mean, it's been really good, you guys, so far. You have to excuse them, the hair. I just, like I said, I went to go take my daughter to school. She's in pre-K. So, I was kind of early. <laughs> um, everything's been really good. So, yeah, I'm going to keep you guys posted. I have, um, I was going to post vlogs from California, but I started off the day vlogging and throughout the day I stopped just because we went to different places, my husband. And I went to go have lunch with his cousin and it just turned into kind of like a music fest. So I might post it, might not, we'll see. Uh, but I'm going to be vlogging just on the daily, showing you guys what's going on in my life. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so I am here at home um, resting this morning after I got back from... Um, taking my daughter to school I got home and I laid down and I noticed a really sharp pain in between I guess what I consider like the left my <laughs> my left side like the rib cage in between the stomach and it was like on and off sharp pain um, it's still there I took a tramadol to see if it would help a little bit I've been walking around and just uh, trying to see if it helps any but it's kind of uh, uncomfortable and it hurts um, I thought it was gas maybe, yeah. but I took a gas X strip and um, nothing happened. So, but I'm here, we're home. We have so much, look, my Christmas tree still up. <laughs> I took everything down before we left, but I have to go buy a, a thing, but yeah, a box for it. All of our luggage and everything. Um, I still have to clean all the laundry, do all the laundry. Look at my eyes, underneath my eyes. Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only thing that um, right now has been kind of an issue. I've been really good, but I noticed that sharp pain this morning. Um, I've lost 11 pounds since surgery, which is awesome. I've been sipping. I've been taking in my fluids. Um, I'm going to... Um, I had a little bit of orange juice this morning because uh, I felt kind of weak. So I just took a sip of it and it helped out a little bit. So everything's been really good except for that pain and I will keep you guys posted and updated. Today's kind of going to be a lazy day. We're not doing much. We're just going to hang out at home, go pick up my daughter later and uh, from preschool. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. So um, I'm getting ready to eat lunch. I got one of these progressive 100 calorie. I got the creamy roasted chicken wild rice I am just having obviously the soup part of it the liquid part um, I am on week two so I'm on full liquids um, like premier protein uh, liquids that aren't just clear liquids so I have that I'm gonna sit down and eat that and I have my ipsy bag Ooh, so excited about my ipsy bag um, but yeah that's what I'm doing right now I thought I'd share with you guys what I got in my ipsy bag so let me sit down you have to excuse my house Alrighty. Ooh, the lighting is not very good over here. Hold on. I'll turn the light on over here. Okay, that's a little better. So I got my soup. And it smells really good. I haven't tasted it yet. So. Itsy bag. Here we go. Oh, the bag's really cute. 
for those of you, for those ladies who, I don't know if you guys get this Ipsy bag. All right, so the five items that I got and I'm gonna share is a fluffy shading brush for the eyelids. I got um, Temp2 Matte Primer. Let's see, Manicadar. I don't even know if that's how you say that. It's just a blush. It's really pretty. Let's see, what is this? Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliation. Cool. And let's see, this is it. It's by, oh, Bye Bye Under Eye. Okay, I've had this before and I just a little one there. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I get excited for my FC bags all the time. Sorry the lighting's off. I'm just in my kitchen. What, you want some more? My daughter's hungry, so I'm feeding her and she wants seconds. All right, girls and guys. Bye -bye. So, okay, hold on. I can't pick you up. Hold on. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. I'm going to have lunch now. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm still in bed. Well, not still in bed. I'm in bed right now. Um, I have gotten up every like 30 minutes and walked for a complete like 15, 20 minutes to see if the pain that I'm having today is from gas. I really don't think it is. Um, I can usually feel it and it hurts in my stomach, but it doesn't hurt my stomach. It's my chest. Every time I swallow something, water, whatever it is, it hurts so bad against my chest. Now, I think, um, I don't know, but what I'm thinking is I also had a hiatal hernia fixed while I had my gastric sleeve done. So I don't know if that maybe might be the reason my chest is hurting a little bit. Um, because it has gone a away just a little bit, but I again, I took pain medicine again. Um, it hurts a little bit when I breathe, so I'm not sure what's going on. I I want to say I was like only, uh, an odd patient because I had no gas pain after surgery. I had no shoulder pain after surgery. My stomach was a little tender and sore, but that was it. I was up and walking. I don't remember recovery. I mean, I woke up. I My surgery was at 7 at night on the 9th and I didn't wake up until the I guess maybe the following morning I don't remember being in recovery I mean I just remember going to sleep in the uh, OR and that and then waking up the next morning so I'm not sure what's going on with me um, as of now I mean stat wise I feel fine everything else is great my incisions are good nothing's hurting they're all scabbed over um, I'm getting my fluids in it's just hurting my chest every time I swallow. Um, but besides that, everything's been really good. Just that pain in my chest. Um, it's kind of worked its way up earlier. It was like early in the morning. It was kind of like in, underneath my rib cage on the left side. Now it's kind of working its way up towards my chest. So I'm not quite sure. But it's a really sharp pain. Feels like someone's stabbing me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm waiting for Cindy Rios to email me back. I have not checked my email in like the last 10 minutes. I'm going to right now. So, yeah, guys, I will let you know if it's anything serious. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. So, it is around 11 p.m. here. Um, I feel so much better. I gave myself a chance. And I drank um, a whole 16 fluid ounce at like extra water. I don't know if that really um, did anything for me feeling better, but I was already on my 64 ounces and I did another 16. I'm not the whole bottle, but I did drink most of it. Uh, I feel a lot better. The pain has actually gone away um, because I was getting a little nervous there and I emailed Cindy. She told me that it might have been pneumonia to go to the emergency room and I read my email again. I said, no, no, no. I miss, uh, type miss wrote. So I emailed her again and that is awesome that the nurses are on point and that she emailed me back. That was like, Oh, that's amazing. I can a hundred percent appreciate that. That was just phenomenal. Uh, the only thing that I do feel is I feel swollen for some reason, my arms, my hands, even my face, like around my neck. Um, the left side of my stomach is swollen. I mean, I'm sure it's because of the surgery itself, but I just feel really bloated today. And I noticed that more towards the, like the evening around six or seven. Um, but everything besides that, I feel better. You guys today has been a really good day. I've got my, all my fluids down. 
um, this morning or for I didn't really eat anything this morning I just had liquids and then for lunch I had about three or four three tablespoons of the creamy chicken wild rice just the soup the, the actual um, liquid part of it and then um, I was going to have I ate like half of um, the uh, banana Gerber food for babies with some protein powder in it um, and it was I added a lot of water to it so it was really you know liquidy it was something that that would be counted for a full liquid because that stuff is so thin I added water half of it with a little bit of protein powder and it was good um, just again two three tablespoons not much um, I've really um, been doing good better since around six o'clock so I'm gonna call it a night you guys uh, I know it's like all day I've been uh, in my bed I don't know I feel like just a couple times I've been up but I have been up actually my husband has a friend over a musician friend and we were talking in the kitchen and just hanging out and stuff and talking about life because we're planning or well, actually we already booked we're going to Mardi Gras ooh, ooh. I'm so excited about that that's gonna be a week after solid foods and I can go ahead and have my first drink um, my hope me and my husband are both musicians and we're just we drink you know we we like to drink we have an occasional um, drink so I'm excited about that I'm excited about Mardi Gras and the countdown has begun I can't wait um, but yeah I'm gonna keep on doing this you guys have been really enjoying vlogging and just sharing my story whether it's not it's pretty it's bad it's ugly the you know the good bad the ugly I'm gonna share it with you guys because that was my purpose of starting this um, and again I don't know I've said this before but if anybody has anything any questions or comments please don't hesitate to leave them for me in the and uh, below if um, anything that I don't share that you're curious about please don't I mean don't hesitate to ask me because there's a lot of people I've already um, heard personally that they're already talking bad because I had the surgery they're already saying that it was you know a waste of money and how easy it was to just get out of being fat no I did this surgery one yes because I am overweight I'm about 80 to 100 pounds overweight I am six foot one I'm a musician I play a the Mexican bass it's called a guitarron and I carry that on over my shoulder every Friday Thursday Friday Saturday and sometimes Sunday and Saturdays our work can go from like you know, all day from a.m. to, I mean, we go two, three o'clock in the morning and I'm exhausted. I come home, my feet are hurting, my legs are swollen. It's just, it's gotten to the point that my weight has affected my life. Fortunately, I am healthy. I have no uh, problems with cholesterol or diabetes or high blood pressure. I've been fortunate in that aspect, but my body it was take, it's taken a toll and I did this for my health and for obviously I want to be thin I mean that who what girls you know what girl doesn't want that um, or what person doesn't want to experience what it feels like to go into any store and try on anything and it just it fits and it fits great and it's you know it, I don't know what that feels like so I'm excited to get to that point I did it for my girls and for my son you know, I don't want them growing up thinking that it's okay to be overweight because I really feel like it wasn't. It's not now. Uh, I used to give myself excuses before like, oh, it's okay to be chunky. We're chunky. It's not. For me, this is my opinion. My opinion now, and it's been this way for a while, is it's not okay to be overweight. And I understand that there are women that embrace it, and that's great if you embrace it. I really could never embrace my 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 fatness, <laughs> my fat, I couldn't embrace it. There was just something always in the back of my mind telling me that it was unhealthy and I would look in the mirror and try on clothes and I didn't look the way I wanted to look and it would upset me and I would cry. So for the people that have already begun to bash me, you guys can go get lost. I don't care what you think. Um, but like I said, I heard it through some people, personal people that personal friends that I know, family. Um, I'm happy with my decision. I am ecstatic about my decision. I cannot wait to get to where I want to be. I, as of now, I weigh 272. I posted a picture yesterday on Instagram. I've lost 11 pounds since my surgery date, which was last Monday, January 9th. Um, in one week and that's absolutely amazing I mean I just I'm so grateful 
for this procedure for the doctors in Mexico from a lighter me. I'm so grateful for my husband and being supportive and for putting up the money for it and everything. We work hard for what we have. And I'm just so grateful for the universe right now. It's just been awesome. And I'm just so excited about everything in the future. And you probably guys will probably hear me say this, go on rants like this all the time. And it's just me telling the truth. I'm being real. Um, I'm excited about this weekend because I'm going back to work and I'm going to be vlogging at work. So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I just, um, and for anybody, like I said, anybody out there who has been hesitant or who wants information, please, please do not hesitate to ask me because I am going to be 100% honest with you. And that's just how it's going to be from now on. And for the haters, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so much love from my house to yours. And we'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.